Hi and welcome to Stories and Stuff. I've got a great story for you today, all the way from Australia. And it's called Hannah the Honeybee Has a Dream by Lynn Rose. Today started like any other day for Hannah. She woke up, ate her breakfast, and then readied herself for her work day. However, Hannah was not her usual happy self, buzzing out her favorite tunes. Instead, Hannah was very sad and quiet. You see, Hannah had a dream last night, a dream where she was crowned queen bee of her colony. Everyone clapped and cheered for her. It felt wonderful to be adored by her peers. She never wanted that feeling to end. Waking up this morning brought her back to reality as Hannah realised she had only dreamt she was Queen Bee. In actual fact, she was just a worker bee. Hannah's best friend Colette met her on their way to work. Colette chatted incessantly, hardly stopping to take a breath. She didn't even notice Hannah's sad demeanour until they were almost at their destination. Finally, Colette realised she hadn't heard a peep out of her friend and turned to see why. What is it, Hannah? Is something wrong? she asked. Hannah sighed. I feel unimportant and an unnecessary member of our colony. As Colette's mouth almost dropped to the ground in shock, Hannah continued more forcefully. Why am I here if I don't make a difference to anyone else? Colette was a simple bee and did not know how to answer her friend. She wasn't a deep thinker like Hannah. Needless to say, the rest of their journey was awkwardly silent from that moment on. Relief swept over Colette when they reached the field where they would be working. There was no more time to ponder Hannah's deep questions. The busy bees plunged into their daily routine. Colette soon felt at ease, immersed in the familiar, and Hannah's outburst was now pushed down into the dim recesses of her mind. As worker bees, Hannah and Colette spent almost every hour of daylight outside searching for food. They used the sun to navigate, so once it started to get dark, they would head back to the hive to rest. Being outside in the sunshine surrounded by nature, the ladylike flowers, bushy trees, whispering grasses, fluttering butterflies, brilliantly plumed birds, an assortment of insects and the varied species of animals made Colette feel warm inside. She loved the outdoors and was easily distracted. The first butterfly she saw that morning had immediately taken her attention from the work she had barely begun. Her open gaze followed the beautiful creature as it went about its business. She startled herself when she realised she had sucked the flower beneath her dry, so she hurried on to the next one. These distractions happened many times every day for Colette. It was just one of the quirks that Hannah enjoyed about her fun-loving friend. Not that Hannah noticed these quirky traits today. Once back at the hive, Hannah ate her dinner quietly, not wanting to engage with anyone as she continued to ponder her seemingly meaningless life. After dinner, she went straight to bed, exhausted after a hard day of work and contemplation. Tonight, Hannah would dream again, only this dream was very different to the previous one. In tonight's dream, Hannah was herself. She did what she always does. Big deal, you say? Yes, it is a big deal, and tonight Hannah would finally realise it. Worker bees like Hannah and Colette do all the housekeeping in the hive. They control most of what goes on inside, with each bee assigned a specific task according to their age. Hannah thought she was not unlike Cinderella, clothed in rags, covered in soot, doing all the household chores. Oh yes, Hannah had read that book. The dream began with Hannah feeding Queen Esther and the baby bees, it was an honour to serve her queen, but she did not have long to bask in the glorious feeling of it, as everyone in the colony needed to be fed. Suddenly, as it happens in dreams, the scene changed, and Hannah was outside with her worker friends, visiting vibrantly coloured flowers and lush plants in the work field. As she surveyed the dream, she saw herself and her friends collecting nectar. There she was, dipping her tongue into the nectar and sucking the juice from a flower blossom. She watched the juice flow into her honey stomach until it reached full capacity. With her belly filled, she flew back to the hive. It was amazing for Hannah to see herself at work as her dream played out like a movie. The scene changed again and Hannah was collecting pollen and storing it in the baskets on her back legs. She certainly was a busy bee tonight. As she and the other worker bees flew home, weighed down with their food treasure, 
they dropped some of the golden pollen from their baskets and pollinated the plants they passed along the way. That is a good thing. Plants need to be pollinated to produce seeds and continue to grow. After returning to the hive, Hannah saw herself transferring the nectar stored in her stomach from her tongue to another worker bee's tongue, where the liquid from the nectar evaporated and became honey. It sounds a bit gross, but the honey and honeycomb they make from it is so sweet and delicious. Pooh Bear can't resist. Yes, Hannah had read that book as well. Finally, Hannah had a light bulb moment in her dream. If she and her worker bee friends didn't do this work, the hive would cease to exist. The world would lose all the plants and flowers that bees pollinate. Animals would run out of food and humans would have much less food to eat too. With that, Hannah awoke from her dream. Her eyes opened slowly as she felt that same exhilarating feeling she'd had the day before. Only this time, it was because she was herself. She did make a difference after all. Now she knew that she did not have to be the queen to make a difference to others. Yes, the queen was needed to bring life to the colony. But without Hannah and her fellow workers, there would be no way to sustain that life. Hannah now understood that we are all needed to do our part. And as we do that, we will make a difference to our friends, our family and to the world around us. Today started like no other day for Hannah, because today was the first day she realised her worth in the colony. She could hardly wait to finish her breakfast and get out into the field to do her vitally essential work. Colette was grateful to see her cheery friend again too. Only, she could hardly get a word in today because Hannah was so talkative. And that was Hannah the Honeybee Has a Dream. And I think it's a great book because it teaches us lots about bees. And it also shows us that we should be proud of who we are and just be ourselves. Mm -hmm.